India is rapidly modernizing its defense capabilities. This is driven by a changing global landscape and evolving security challenges. Gone are the days when India lagged behind in defense technology. Today, India is making significant strides in developing cutting-edge military hardware. From indigenous fighter jets to powerful missiles, India is determined to become self-reliant in defense. One area where India has made remarkable progress is missile technology. India's missile program has come a long way since its inception. It has developed a wide range of missiles, from short-range tactical missiles to long-range ballistic missiles. These missiles are capable of delivering conventional and nuclear warheads with pinpoint accuracy. The development of these missiles has significantly enhanced India's deterrence capabilities. India's pursuit of hypersonic technology is a testament to its commitment to staying ahead in the military technology race. Hypersonic missiles, capable of traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 5, represent a paradigm shift in warfare. They are extremely difficult to intercept due to their speed and maneuverability, making them a game-changer in modern warfare. This pursuit of advanced defense technologies is not about aggression. It is about ensuring India's security and sovereignty in an increasingly uncertain world. It is about sending a clear message that India is capable of defending its interests and deterring any potential adversary. India's pursuit of hypersonic technology has been shrouded in secrecy, known as Project Vishnu. This ambitious project, launched several years ago, aims to develop and deploy indigenous hypersonic missiles. While details remain classified, recent reports suggest significant progress has been made. Project Vishnu is not merely about developing a new weapon system. It represents India's ambition to join an elite group of nations possessing hypersonic technology. This technology is seen as a game-changer in modern warfare, and India is determined to be a leader, not a follower. The secrecy surrounding Project Vishnu has only heightened its significance. The fact that India has managed to keep this project under wraps for so long is a testament to its growing technological prowess. This secrecy also underscores the strategic importance India attaches to hypersonic technology. The recent revelation of a successful hypersonic test is a clear indication that Project Vishnu is progressing well. This test has sent ripples through the defense community worldwide, signaling India's arrival as a major player in the hypersonic domain. India's hypersonic program encompasses both cruise missiles and glide vehicles. These two types of hypersonic weapons offer distinct advantages in different combat scenarios. Cruise missiles fly at lower altitudes and are highly maneuverable, making them ideal for precision strikes against time-critical targets. Among the hypersonic missiles under development is the BrahMos-2, a joint venture with Russia. This hypersonic cruise missile, expected to be operational soon, will be capable of striking targets over 1,500 kilometers away at speeds of up to Mach 7. On the other hand, hypersonic glide vehicles, or HGVs, are launched atop ballistic missiles and then glide to their targets at incredible speeds. These weapons are extremely difficult to intercept due to their unpredictable trajectories. India's HGV program, while less advanced than its cruise missile counterpart, is rapidly gaining momentum. India's hypersonic test most likely involved a hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, or HSTDV. This experimental vehicle is crucial for validating critical technologies such as scramjet engines, which are essential for sustained hypersonic flight. The development of hypersonic missiles has significant implications for India's defense capabilities and regional security. These missiles will provide India with a credible deterrent against any potential adversary, enhancing its strategic autonomy. Firstly, hypersonic missiles enhance India's ability to deter aggression. Their speed and maneuverability make them extremely difficult to intercept, posing a significant threat to enemy command and control centers, air bases, and other high-value targets. This capability significantly enhances India's deterrence posture, making any potential adversary think twice before initiating hostilities. Secondly, hypersonic missiles provide India with a rapid response capability. In a conflict scenario, these missiles can be used to deliver swift and decisive strikes against enemy targets, potentially changing the course of the conflict. This rapid response capability is particularly crucial in today's dynamic security environment, where the ability to act swiftly and decisively is paramount. Finally, the indigenous development of hypersonic technology reduces India's reliance on foreign suppliers. 
This self-reliance is crucial for India's strategic autonomy, allowing it to make independent decisions without being constrained by the interests of other nations.